it is eight o'clock and we are leaving our site we're gonna be putzing along today because we only have like what was it seven something mm -hmm. because we're trying to take it easy for my foot but I don't know how we're gonna putz around that long we are in about a mile a little over a mile we're going to a river camp where a bunch of uh, paddlers camp out actually the last time we backpacked this section we stayed at the river camp, which was really cool because there was a squall line and we would have been drenched. They have uh, covered structures, porches, like screened in porches. So we're off. across some nice ladies earlier. Like five of them. Six of them. And a dog. Very nice people. Oh, we should get water here. Well, I almost fell off that bridge that I showed that was on video earlier. Uh, it moved, it had movement. We weren't expecting it. And I went shortly after Coco and wow, I grabbed the cable. It's the only thing that saved me. 
My heart's pumping now. Whew. Man. It's a waterfall. <laughs> Not that big, but it's a waterfall. Beautiful. We have, I think, 0.8 to camp and um, just sitting here in this beautiful uh, waterfall. And there. Nice. So we arrived to camp around one o'clock, which is extremely early, but we were only gonna do seven and a half miles because of my foot. Um, I remember I'm trying to do, we're doing like seven nights in a row uh, where I can't ice just to test out my foot to make sure that it's okay and it's healing. But these are our tent setups. This is mine right here and that is Coco. And what's so nice about this site is there's actually like a little table here that we could sit at. <laughs> That's the Florida Trail for you. You never know what you're going to find. We're hanging our bear bag right there. You can't see it because the line is there, but we don't have the bags on yet. And it is 3.18 p.m. I don't know what the heck we're going to do. We're not, we're, usually we roll in around this time. I thought I'd give an update on my foot. So one of the things I did was tape it and I'll show you that in a moment, but um, taping it seems to help also. And I'm gonna keep it taped until we get back. And I brought some extra so that I could retape if needed. But uh, the foot is holding up way better than expected and my right foot is definitely doing better. And I'm not always gonna be talking about my feet, but that's the whole purpose of this hike right now. Just showing you what I did here. I typed up my foot like you're supposed to for plantar fasciitis. And it seems to be holding up. I'm gonna keep it wrapped and taped until we get back. I have extra tape just in case. So another rookie mistake that Coco and I made this time is we thought we were coming out here for three nights and then resupplying. It's really four nights, so we just had to go through our food and we assess the situation. We have enough between the two of us that we can. Fortunately, I accidentally packed an extra meal uh, that I didn't know I had, and that's fantastic. We can totally use that, but my gosh, it, we're, it's like we're beginner backpackers, and we're not. We are cooking dinner. It is 4.17. <laughs> it's going to get uh, dark in about an hour or so. It's pretty early though. I think we're, we're going to regret cooking this early. But we're doing it. We have a wonderful breeze going on right now. You can see the trees swaying. Well, now they're not really swaying. They were a minute ago. The name of this campsite, I forgot to mention, is called uh, Whirlpool Campsite because of the whirlpools you can see down below.
We have our bear bags hung and I'm gonna call it a night. I will see you all tomorrow.